my beautiful people. So today I'm actually doing the L'Oreal Matte Magic 12 Hour Matte Foundation Review. So I actually love the way how the bottle is. It's very easy to control the amount of product that is coming out. And this is the shade that I got. I got my shade in G5. It looks kind of dark on my skin but trust me it's not. So I'm just going to go ahead and just apply the foundation to the right side of my face. And I, guys just give me one second and let's just talk about my camera. My camera totally totally sucks. It just auto changed my settings just like that. <sighs> so as you can see one side of the foundation is done. It gave a really really very natural finish it didn't cover up much of my under eye circles though the coverage was still there it just made it very very natural okay my makeup is done and today i honestly telling you i look like a clown it's because my makeup is just so all over the place and i think today is just one of the days that i'm having a very very bad extremely bad makeup day my eyeshadow sucks i had to apply the foundation twice because I put the wrong primer and the wrong concealer. I just, uh, honestly, I'm telling you guys, my lipstick feels like I overdrawn it too much. Today is just not a good day for me. Sorry if you hear that ng sound because it's too hot and I have my fan right here. Okay, so today's review is the L'Oreal Matte Magic 12 Hours Bright Matte Foundation. My shade is in, uh, what's my shade in? Uh, G5. So I purchased this online in the website Watson's online. So you can buy this shade there. In stores only, they are only sh selling shades N1, N2 and N3. So this is oil free. The finish is semi matte. Coverage is natural. Texture is really air light and really lightweight. But you know, the, the coverage is still pretty good. Pretty good. So I'm just going to go and check in with you guys after four, to five, uh, four, 4 and 8 hours and show you guys how the foundation is or oh, actually I break out even though my face is looking like shit the foundation is still on point besides the rest of my face I'll check in with you guys 4 to 5 and uh, 4 to 8 hours from now Welcome back to me in my office place toilet again So this is how the my foundation looks like on the face even though I'm having a shitty face today still I, I I am doing the foundation review for you guys so not much oil that has broken out on my nose yet this is only like four hours so as you can see it's really really not bad hmm I'll check out so I'll definitely check in with you guys after I reach back home and show you how it actually looks like and recently I'm actually my face is being really really very dehydrated and I'm having a lot of fine lines and my makeup particular this area is actually creasing up really really bad this area as well I have to go and get my facial on as you know as you can see there you can see really really cracking up but I don't think that this foundation is actually doing this to me but <clears throat> recently I've been going through that quite a bit so yeah I'll go back home and I'll check in with you guys <sighs> okay so I am back right now after work and to be very honest with you this foundation is good it's just that recently I have been breaking out more oils and um, I'm starting to have like these crease lines around my area here is because it's Basically, I think my skin is being dehydrated. That's the reason. That is the one reason why you actually get this crease area around here. So, but nevertheless, the foundation still looks good on my face, as you can see. It's just a, the nose area is just a bit oily, but it's unfortunate. So here comes the foundation oil test. So I have the L'Oreal Matte Magic, and I'm just gonna squirt out a bit to show you guys. Okay, so there we go. Squat that out. As always, going in my Juicy Maran 100% Argan Oil Light. Two, three. We're going to put three drops and see how this looks after one hour. So the reason why I always do this is to just show you a um, speed up version of how it actually will look on your face. So yes. So this is the foundation after one hour. As you can see, the foundation actually dried off matte and the oils just surrounded the foundation so basically if you're using this on your face 
it will just surface up and it won't destroy your foundation so like i said guys recently i have been really breaking out a lot of oils and this actually proves that this foundation is actually good but my face is just being over oily on me it's just not behaving itself so yeah so i truly hope that you enjoyed this review and if you did give this video a huge thumbs up and hit the button down below and subscribe to my channel so yeah i love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys